The Mendel brought set image that we've grown to know and love, well, I've grown to know and love, is generated using a very simple set of rules, much in the way that the broccoli plant uses simple rules to generate its seemingly complex structure. In fact, it's one of the simplest set of rules that you could possibly imagine for a mathematical system, and not only that, but the exact same set of rules that govern the growth of that broccoli plant also govern the formation of this fractal, as I'll demonstrate in the next section. Here's the algorithm, or set of rules, that are used to generate all the beautiful Mandelbrot set images that you've seen so far. As you can see, it's a very simple algorithm with very few steps involved. It's always been a wonder to me how such a complex object with its infinite beauty can arise from so few lines of code. The Julia sets are slightly different than the Mandelbrot set, as I will explain. For every point in the complex plane, there exists a set called the Julia set, each of which has a different shape and a different dynamic associated with it. In other words, every point in the complex plane generates a different Julia set curve or image. Also, it's been shown that the Julia sets generated from the points on the inside of the Mandelbrot set form connected sets, and the Julia sets that are generated from the points on the outside of the Mandelbrot set form disconnected sets, also known as Cantor dusts. I won't get into the details of what this means at this point. The main point that I want to make here is that there's a fundamental difference between the points on the inside of the Mandelbrot set and the points on the outside. Just remember, inside equals connected, outside equals disconnected. Okay, at this point, um, I've put you through a bunch of information and uh, so I'd like to take a little interlude here and play for you a, a fractal video that I made. Um, the music is by uh, uh, Dan Stevens, who was a young singer-songwriter who passed away a few years ago from brain cancer. He was an awesome musician, and he was a big fan of my fractals, and so as a tribute to him, I put together this video. So I hope you enjoy this.
you'll get mad luck finding that. So we're going to move on to the next section. Cosmology is the study of the universe in its totality. This includes not only the macro world of stars and galaxies, but also the micro world of the atom and electrons and everything in between. Einstein's theory of relativity is commonly used to explain the macro world and quantum mechanics is used to explain the micro world. The math that's used in these fields, although very complicated as I pointed out earlier, are very good at modeling the universe as we see it now, very good at making predictions about how things work. What they don't tell us though is how these things came into being in the first place. There are still a lot of unanswered questions like why does the universe even exist in the first place? How did it begin? Why does it look the way it does? What is gravity still unanswered? Is the universe expanding and why? What are black holes? Why do they form? Is our universe unique? Are there multi-universes? Where did all the matter in the universe come from? These are the questions I've been asking myself all my conscious life, and every answer seemed to come up with many more questions. So, I had the idea to try to answer some of these questions using another universe that I know called the Mandelbrot set. Maybe if I could understand how it works, then I'd gain some insight into the inner workings of our universe too.